Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 5 sixths to a percent. Now when we convert a fraction to a percent, we can start by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Once we have that decimal, we convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So we need to start by converting this to a decimal by dividing. So for 5 sixths, we can set this up as 5 divided by 6. Then we go through the division process. So we have 5 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 5? How many 6s in 5? Well, we can't do that. So we need to use a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. Now, once we have that decimal and the zero, we need to bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 50 divided by six. So how many whole groups of six in 50? How many sixes in 50? Well, eight. That gets us to 48. And let me extend the division bar here. Now make sure the eight is above the zero. Since we used that zero and thought of this as 50 divided by six, and that will line us up correctly. Now we multiply eight times six is 48. Subtract 50 minus 48 is two. So we don't have that clean cut zero at the bottom. So we can continue on by using another zero that we can bring down. So now we have 20, 20 divided by six. How many whole groups of six in 20? How many sixes in 20? Well, three, that gets us to 18. Three times six is 18. Subtract 20 minus 18 is two. So let's use another zero to continue on. So we get 20 again. 20 divided by six is three. Three times six is 18. 20 minus 18 is two again. And you may start recognizing a pattern here. And this is going to give us a repeating decimal. So if we use another zero that we can bring down, we get 20 again. 20 divided by six is three. Multiply three times six is 18. Subtract and then another two. So this is going to continue on forever. It's going to repeat forever. So these threes repeat and continue on forever. So we can stop there and convert this decimal to a percent now. And we do this by multiplying it by 100. And again, we can multiply by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So let's rewrite our decimal off to the side here. So 0 0.8333 and the three repeats. So let's move the decimal once, twice, to the right. This gives us 83.3 repeating percent. So we can write this as 83.3, and then we can put a bar above that three to show that that digit repeats percent. Five sixths equals 83.3 repeating percent. So that's one option as far as writing out a repeating decimal as a percent. Another option is to round, and we can round to whatever place we would like. But for this example, let's round to the tenths place and nearest whole percent, starting with the tenths place. So five sixths is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, it's not exact. We have a three in the tenths place with a three in the hundredths. So this rounds to 83.3%. So five sixths is approximately 83.3%. Now let's round to the nearest whole percent, which is rounding to the ones place. So does this round to 83% or 84%? Five sixths is approximately we have a three in the ones place 
with a three to the right in the tenths. So this rounds to 83%. Five sixths is approximately 83%. So some different options there as far as writing out repeating decimals as percents. We can use a bar above any repeating digits to show that they are repeating, or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert 5 sixths to a percent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.